Green Biopharma is a grassroots idea. This is an effort to change how we do things and to start thinking beyond just chemical and biological processes, but how can we do it in a more efficient and a cleaner way? Up to now, we've had a really great uh, sustainability program, but this is the first time uh, that we've been able to start making inroads into the core work of what we do. It basically asks us to think about what chemicals we use, how much we use, and what the ultimate fate of those chemicals are. If you can combine the, the energy and the passion that, uh, uh, that people have for discovering new medicine with the passion and energy that the people have here um, for the environment, that's a pretty powerful combination. If it takes a little bit of extra effort to think of a way to do it that uses less consumables, that uses less of a process, we absolutely, I think, have a responsibility to find that better way of doing it. We're showing people that Green Biopharma can be a way to do science that reduces your impact, but still provides quality results. We really look at everything in the laboratory and try and give the lab, one, a picture of what its environmental footprint looks like, and two, actions to reduce that footprint based on what they're doing specifically in the lab. A lab is a difficult place to become or to turn into something that's eco-friendly. And yet, really, I think she's shown us that it really doesn't take as much effort as you'd think. And it's inspired us to take bigger steps, I think, in the future. It can be things like switching to a different product for doing uh, DNA work. It can be, you know, increasing their recycling based on the products that they have at hand. It can be even more specific, such as turning off a fume hood that they're not using. Just shutting down uh, one of our fume hoods in one of our incubators is going to save us thousands a year in electricity costs. That's a minus 20 freeze. When I first heard about it, I was very excited to um, be one of the first research labs to be involved in this. It's so great because people will come back and they'll say, I'm so glad we're doing this. This is so great. I mean, I love sustainability, and this is the first time I can actually do it in my labs. We have our Green Genes sub-team, which is a group of dedicated volunteers from across campus who are interested in making a difference in their laboratory. We meet with them to work on action plans. Latex is never recyclable. How can we increase so participation in recycling? What kind of new products are they interested in? And if we find a new product that's a greener alternative, we bring it to our Green Genes sub-team and ask them to test it out. Almost on a daily basis now, I use green chemistry, green solvents. Uh, whether I'm purifying something, I try to incorporate the newer green solvents that we've been using. It does mean a lot to me to try to make a difference in the environment and mental impact. Our model of this is that uh, by doing the little things, you'll start thinking about the big things. If every scientist recycles their plastic or recycles their paper, when you multiply that by 10,000 people at this campus, we're going to see some really tangible savings, both in cost as well as environmental impact. The core of what we do is to, to find transformative medicines that will help patients. The goal of this uh, is to make certain that we're doing the chemistry just as effectively. We're getting the, you know, the same or better results, but, but doing it in a way which uh, benefits the environment.